What's up guys, this is FTC2212, and in this tutorial we're going to be teaching you how to set up FTC SDK and Android Studio for coding in FTC. This is the way that we code instead of using Onboard Java, because it gives us a lot more versatility and allows us to be more creative, in our opinion. So, this tutorial is for complete beginners, so do not worry if you don't really have any experience. This tutorial will teach you everything you need to get started. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to download Java. So download Java from the first link in the description. If you are in Windows, then click on the Windows part. If you're in Linux or Mac, then choose the correct one. Go to the x64 installer and click the download button. Download it in a directory of your choice. Save it. Okay, now that you have downloaded it, open up in the directory in which you downloaded it, and double click the file. It will ask you whether or not you want to allow it to make changes to your computer. Click yes, and then you will open the setup wizard or installer. Click next, click next, and now it will download Java into your computer. Perfecto. Now, close the installer. Our next step is to download Android Studio. So to do that, exit out of File Explorer and go to the second link in the description. Now, click Download Android Studio. Scroll to the bottom. Click Download and agree to the terms and conditions. Choose the directory in which you want to install it. This is my second time installing it, that's why you already see it, and save it. Now, it will take a little bit to install it completely, then go to the directory in which you have installed it, and double click in, on Android Studio EXE. So now we have the installer, so let's go ahead and start installing Android Studio. Click the next button the next button, just click, keep clicking the next button, and Android Studio will download. Android Studio takes a little bit to download, so just be aware of that. Now it is completed, so let's go, finish, and So, when you start Android Studio, you'll get to a page like this, which is great, but we can just minimize that tab for now. Let's go back to Google, and let's go to the third link in the description of this video, which is the SDK. So, basically, we have Java, we have Android Studio, which is where we write our code, and now we need to have the SDK which gives us some classes and helps us interface and talk to the robot because plain Java does not allow us to do that. So when you're at this page, go to code and download zip. If you don't have GitHub, then you need to download as a zip. But if you do have GitHub, then you can use Git. But let's just download as a zip for now. Then download in a directory of your choice. Now, let's unzip the file. Now, go to the file, right-click on it, click Extract All, and click Extract, and let it extract the file as a normal file instead of a zip. Now, let's go back to Android Studio, click Open, and open the project, the unzip project. Click OK, and it'll open the file in Android Studio, which is exactly what we need. Now, to actually begin coding, let's go to Team Code, Source, Main, Java, Org, First Inspires, FEC, Team Code, 
and in this team code file is where we actually begin coding. So, now that you have gone this far, you can actually begin to get into the nitty gritty and start to code. I hope you have an awesome time coding and enjoy FPC. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you found this video useful and to share with other FCC teams if you think it would be useful for them.